Thanks, Karine. Um, has the president spoken with Speaker McCarthy since their meeting on Tuesday? I don't have a call to preview for you at this time. Okay. Well, why, why haven't they talked? The president is giving negotiators the, the space uh, and uh, the time uh, to negotiate. Uh, we see their conversation as being productive. I can let you know, and I don't, some of you may already know this, they met virtually, the negotiators on both sides met, met, met virtually at 11.30 uh, this morning. I, look, I'm not going to get uh, to speak to uh, exact number, right? That's not something I'm going to do from here. But the president and the speaker uh, have said the only way forward is to have a bipartisan, reasonable uh, budget agreement that's going to need both Democrats and Republicans in the House and in the Senate. And of course, the Senate requires 60 votes, as we all know, which will which will be necessary, which will, of course, mean that you need a bipartisan vote in the Senate. So we know this vote will re require, again, Democrats and Republican votes, uh, So, which means that when you negotiate, when these negotiations happen, both sides have to understand that neither side is going to get everything that they want. And so that's what we're working toward. That's what you've been seeing from the negotiation team. So if there is not a deal, there is no plan B? What I can say is the only option right now is for the for Congress to do their jobs without conditions. That is the way that we need to move forward as it relates to the debt limit.